Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So yes, it is time to spill some Nicki Minaj tea, okay? So what's going down is this. If you guys remember last month, I did a video about Nicki Minaj going off on Karen Civil's intern. She had wrote some stuff about Nicki Minaj and Nicki was not here for it, she drug her. And so in that video, I told you guys that over a year ago, Meek Mill was trying to tell everybody that Nicki Minaj was paying the blogs, but folks weren't trying to hear him, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and play y'all this flashback because I know y'all love these damn flashbacks go ahead and check this out and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary now if you guys remember a year ago meek mill was saying that Nicki minaj was on karen civil's payroll everybody thought meek was crazy and meek was hating on Nicki, but this was the tea that meek was spilling a year ago while folks was ignoring him so meek says y'all be hating with y'all's corny ass captions this is a club. I'm not performing. I'm just letting the 2,300 people that came to the club hear me. Y'all bum-ass internet hoes being paid by Nikki. LOL to try and discredit my name. At Karen Civil at Baller Alert. My sister trying to catch up with y'all corny-ass bitches. This is my last time speaking on y'all miserable-ass clowns. LOL. By the way, Karen, I got the tapes of your corny ass saying Nikki paying for this geek shit. After all I did for your nut ass, y'all sold y'all souls for a few bands. Why y'all don't post about that man molesting that little girl? Oh, I forgot. Y'all on the payroll. And Robin, I'm in the A. You gonna learn about playing with my plate. I dare one of y'all to say something and I'm gonna expose this whack ass blog platform. Honey. All right, so you guys just heard that flashback. But now what's even crazier is that Jason Lee is now confirming what I've been saying, what Meek Mill has been saying. He's basically blasting Nicki Minaj once again. So what basically happened is this. Now, if you guys remember after Cardi B had her baby, there was a rumor being spread all over the internet that Nicki Minaj bought her a $5,000 baby gift bassinet. And basically, um, I even posted on my Instagram page, this was being spread all over social media. I thought it was real news. It ended up being fake news. Cardi B came out and stated that she did not receive a gift from Nicki Minaj. I want to thank Prima Donna for this beautiful crib. It's so beautiful so big i didn't want to set the crib up until we moved to our official home but um offset set it up while i was in the hospital and it's just so gorgeous and she also gave me this beautiful bassinet it's so beautiful so gorgeous i love it so pretty Baby so Jason Lee had also stated his piece before Cardi B even came out. And this is what Jason Lee had to say about Nicki Minaj's gift to Cardi. Go ahead and check this out. Now I have a question. How did Nicki Minaj buy Cardi B a $5,000 gift basket for her baby? And we all know about it. Because hmm? I bought Cardi B a lot of stuff for her baby. And don't nobody know what I bought. And don't nobody know how much it costs. Clout chasing. All right, so you guys just heard what Jason Lee had to say on Instagram. So now he is splashing some more tea, and basically he's calling out Nicki Minaj. He's basically saying that Nicki Minaj has the blogs on his payroll, and that basically she acts like she's going to do stuff for the blogs, like she's going to come in the comment section, like pictures, and, you know, leave comments, and she never does that. So Jason is putting her all the way on blast, and then he's also comparing her to Cardi B, and saying that Cardi B does not pay him, that she's sincere, you know, you'll always see her on Hollywood Unlocked, and that she was rocking with Jason before she ever blew up, which is very true. You will see her in the comment section. She'll be talking about stories that may not have nothing to do with her she'll state her opinion that is one of her favorite blogs she's always in the comment section of hollywood unlocked i want you guys to go ahead and check out these two video clips of jason talking about the whole Nicki minaj and cardi b situation go ahead and check this out i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary i'll take them so everybody thinks that i hate Nicki minaj and i've said many <laughs> times on hollywood unlocked i have no problems with Nicki minaj <laughs> but i'm about to drop something really quick that's gonna piss people off <laughs> Nicki minaj used to pay somebody to call all the blogs and ask us to post about her and I would say, why? first I started posting, and, and Nikki's exchange was, we're going to like, Nikki will like all your photos if you post them. So I would post, and Nikki wouldn't like it. And I would post, and Nikki wouldn't like it. And then I was like, why am I posting for this girl? She ain't did an interview. She ain't like nothing. She don't follow us. She ain't, I don't know the girl. Can't call her. Can't talk to her. There's no value exchange. So once I realized, okay, 
Nicki Minaj needs Hollywood Unlocked. Like, Hollywood Unlocked needs Nicki Minaj. So I'm going to stop posting this girl. So I told the people, like, I don't know how much you're paying you, but unless you're paying me, I ain't posting shit. So I stopped posting shit. Cardi's never asked me to post anything. Never. She's never said, can you please post this? Can you promote this? Can mm-hmm. you? She likes everything. She likes shit that ain't even about her. She talks about shit that ain't even about her. She follows Hollywood Unlocked. She's done deals with me. Right. And still she gets criticized. And, and I, I'll tell you. We, you know, we talk privately about the whole Nicki Minaj Cardi beef and Cardi never hates on the girl. She'll never hate. She don't care about what Nicki Minaj is doing. But I right. will tell you that um, I went to Cardi B's baby shower. Like I said, there was this rumor going around that Nicki Minaj bought Cardi B a five thousand dollar gift for a baby. So I posted the story. Cardi DM me and said, not true. And I posted that on Hollywood Live. Then barbs went bananas. <laughs> You're a fucking hater. Your Atlantic Records paid you to do that. Atlantic Records is not paying me to do that. It's just the truth. I mean, do you think, I mean, do you think? All right. So you guys just heard what Jason Lee had to say. Honey, when I tell you Jason Lee is messy as hell, but you know what? I'm here for a bitch. Okay. So anyhow, I'm sure Nicki Minaj is irritated and she's pissed off because once again, the Nicki Minaj hate train will not stop. Like I told y'all before, all aboard. Okay. Everybody's jumping on that damn hate train. And I don't feel bad for her because she's also put out a lot of hate her damn self. Okay. This entire situation is a hot damn mess. I'm not surprised at all that Nicki is in cahoots with the blog. And she wants to, you know, be buddy, buddy, buddy with the blogs who kiss her ass and who show her in a good light. But I'm also not believing that Cardi B is not also in cahoots with the blogs as well, okay? She may not be necessarily cutting them a check, but best believe Atlantic Records and Cardi B are definitely bosom buddies with all these different blogs out here like The Shade Room, Immediate Takeout, and things like that, and giving them certain exclusives. So I'm not going to sit here and say that Nicki Minaj is the only one doing that, but she's been called out for doing that for years now okay but i'm sure a lot of other celebrities do that as well especially when you have celebrities that nobody gives a fuck about like fabulous and emily b and for whatever reason these damn you know blogs keep posting them as you know relationship goals and you know bay watch and oh they're matching as if he didn't just knock out her two damn front tooth you know what i'm saying not even two months ago just because he went and bought her some new cement veneers does not make their situation right okay and the fact that the shade room and all these other blogs keep on promoting emily b and fabulous makes me feel like they they must also be on the payroll because outside of these blogs, who the hell is checking for Emily B or Fabulous, okay? So I'm pretty sure that it's not only just Nicki Minaj who pays these blogs or who buddy buddies with these blogs or who slides up in their DMs or who sends them free tickets and does all types of little shit to keep their name popping in a positive light on the blogs. Let's not forget she's the same chick who reached out to T.S. Madison and was trying to work with her and Kaya behind the scenes because at that time Kaya was dragging the shit out of Little Kim and Remy Ma. So that whole situation does not surprise me that Nicki Minaj was also involved in some stuff with Hollywood Unlocked. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation with Jason Lee calling out Nicki Minaj and just putting everything out there. Do you feel like Nicki Minaj is the only celebrity that does this? Or do you feel like a lot of celebrities sit there and basically buddy-buddy with these blogs and, you know, send them things and cut them checks and stuff like that? So that way they're one of the top stories and that way they're shown in a favorable light. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. So for you guys wondering what I'm sipping on today, the tea that I have in my cup is my hair and nail tea. This is a really good tea to help keep your nails long and strong and to keep your hair healthy. So if you're interested in purchasing a bag, make sure you guys click the link down below. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.